know what happened last time you booked insurance from them. Why don't you just book with ERV Travel Insurance? Just try it. ERV lets you experience the world with their travel insurance. They could even cover your medical conditions with their new Medicare product. And they have 24-7 assistance with an English-speaking team. Nice. ERV, you travel, we care. Is Harry troubling you? Uh? Hi, Grandpa. I told you, with ERV travel insurance, you would be more relaxed. I bet they looked after you. Thanks, Harry. Mum is coming. Bye. ERV, you travel, we care. Ten couples in a room backstage. There they are. And in a minute, they're going to come out and kiss on our command. We have Pam and George. Go on, Pam. Go on, George. Go on, girlfriend. Do it for the country. Woo! <laughs> Pam and George. OK. I can tell you that the fact is, two-thirds of couples turn their heads to the right when oh. kissing. One of our lineup is tap dancing. The others are shuffling around in their slippers and can't tap for toffee. <laughs> Take it away. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Time to reveal the odd one in. <laughs> Hello. Have you come far? Oh, Your Majesty. I can't believe it. You're actually talking to me. When I told she that I was coming down to meet you, she said, you're wasting your time. You'll never get to talk to the Queen. And, you know, even if you do get to talk to the Queen, you'll never get the words out. And here I am, standing in front of the Queen herself, and the words are just stuck in my throat. I'm speechless. A golden opportunity to talk to you yourself, and I can't find a single word to say. You know, it's just the same when Eamon Holmes opened the drop-in centre, so it was. I was speechless. Mute! I traced all the way down here, and she can't even spare me a couple of words. That's the last time I vote for her, so it is. Come on, Winston. Parents' evening. Thank you, Marcus. What's a maths teacher's name? Umberston. Paul. Hello, Wilson. Hello, Master. The new Nokia 6220. Tonight, the escaped prisoner who travelled first class. He hatched an elaborate plan to get out and home to his wife. I'm coming home, baby! However, his wife had already gone off with her new bloke, and when he got no reply, the delivery driver left a sorry but you were out note. Nanny kids! I told you kids before, get off my property! Get out! He's upstairs in bed, and that's been for the last three hours. I'm sorry, it's just that I, am. Um... Okay, do you want to go and check up on him? Yeah. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Hello, <laughs> Matt. All right. The apocalypse has begun. As you should already know, considering I've been saying it for the last week.